released its newest ultimate refill kit for HP's new printers that take the 65 cartridge. Now this is their smaller one. We just purchased it for the video so we can show you how to fill the cartridges. This is the smallest desktop printer sold according to HP. So in the kit, in our ultimate kit, you get all the bottles of ink. Now I always make up a refill station so it holds my bottles as I'm filling. You're going to get our fast acting print head cleaner. I'll show you how to use that in the video. Two storage clips or refill clips because we use them for refilling. You're going to get a large 30 milliliter syringe because you're going to get the snap and vac for the color and the snap and vac for the black. That's an amazing tool. In the bag you're going to get a rubber gloves, all the injectors. By the way, do not wash them out. You don't need to. And in the kit you're going to get everything. Now what you're going to be filling basically is that little cartridge. There's no ink in it. I mean, if you bought this kit, you'd be like you could save enough money because a equal amount of cartridges with our kit would be over six hundred dollars. So there's a lot of savings. Now the only difference on the XLs, they open up the compartment here, give you a little bit more ink. But there's no more than one cc, if that, in the cartridges. And those are seventy milliliter bottles. So you can do the math from there. So when we fill them, which I'm going to show you in a second because I got it in the printer, you got to just put a little bit of ink in. You don't want to flood it. And if you do flood it, that's where the snap and vac will come in. So it's quite a nice little printer. Expensive to operate though with, when you figure the cost of cartridges at oh, somewhere is around $40 a set. Got a little scanner here. But like if you collect cartridges and you want to fill them up ahead of time, you can store them in the clip. You can use the printhead cleaner to clean them. And you should be able to refill for a year, maybe two years with this kit. Scan something in. That's one of our instructions for something else. And I'm going to keep doing this because I want to deplete the cartridge, then take it out and show you how to fill it. And how to use the snap and back and all the rest. Now our ink is American made ink, it's the best ink your money can buy. It will not and cannot clog a printhead. Now that, while that's run, I'm going to come over here for a second. As you can see, I, I leave the ink, some of the ink right in the syringe, I don't take it out. I put the little top cover on the needle, because I want to point this out. You cannot use a blunt needle in there because if you do, you, you push the sponge down and you damage it. So what we use is a very sharp hypodermic type needle. So you want to keep it out of the reach of children and pets. Just use common sense. Now I'm going to show you how to put the cap back on the needle. You don't pick up the cap and slide it on. A nurse taught me this a long time ago. This is the way you should do it. You slide it in, let me get over here, slide it in like that, then pick that up. That's the safest way to do it. Like I said, you don't have to wash them out or store them. Even if it says on it, discard after use. You don't have to pay any attention to that. Now, if you don't want to get ink on your fingers or your hands, then there's a pair of rubber gloves or buy yourself a couple extra sets. Now, I'm, I'm printing it out. HP's cartridges. I want to point this out to some people because they don't realize that. Sometimes you'll see a little banding there. That's because the printer is printing on normal or draft. That actually burns the cartridge out. If you went to a better quality like Best, you would have, you could get a longer run of on that cartridge. You could fill it up more often and your prints will come out better. So these are actual HP cartridges in their printer. So see that? Now you can run a cleaning and try to 
improve on it, but that's just way strength. Just change it to best. Go into your program in your um, computer as you're printing out and just change it to best. So try to get it to code out and show me I'm out of ink. Well, apparently I'm out of the yellow because that's what I've been running. So even though it shows on the screen there's a little ink in there, it's really out of one color. So we'll open it up. I already removed the label, and you can see the holes underneath. Large one in here, two on each side. And I take a paper napkin just to verify. I put it on a little printhead cleaner there and I hold it down for a minute. Then I come over here and I press it down again. See, I'm trying to see where the colors are. See? So I've got blue on my right, magenta in the center, and yellow on my left. So with a magic marker, I will mark that. Now remember, when you're filling this, there's not a lot of ink. So if you put too much in, it could spill into this empty chamber in the back. And then every time you tip the cartridge, you'll have ink all over you. So you're just going to put a little bit, just a little bit at a time. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, now, because I'm going to fill it, I'm going to store it in the little clip so as I'm filling it, it doesn't leak out the bottom. The magenta, the cyan, and the yellow. Got it in my fill clip. Now, I've already had some ink in my yellow syringe because I leave it in there. Now I had a little over, I have a little over uh, one milliliter in there. Now, there's two places you can go in. Uh, you can go in this one or into the back. I choose always to go into the front because looking at the cartridge, that's the way they're filling it. See? So, you just want to make sure when you're doing this that the colors are correct. And according to what I just proved out yellow, cyan, and magenta in the center. So I'll go into the yellow. Let's go in about a quarter of an inch. And then I slowly squirt some ink in. I would never put problem, never, I wouldn't say never, but you shouldn't put more than say one cc. You might be going a little bit more if you want. I'm going to go a little bit more because I really ran that yellow empty. Now I can continue to fill it till I saw a little bit come out the top. That would be okay. I like the little box. I can leave my cap right there because you can see I spilled a little yellow from a previous video. And then I got some more ink in here. So we go back over to the yellow again and we go into the yellow. And I start pushing down. I get a close up here. I'm actually going to push a lot in there so you can see it bubble out. I, I wait a minute because I always give it a little time for the ink to seep into the sponge below. You just don't want to push it in. Just give it a little time. Take, take a few extra seconds. So don't forget, some of the ink is spilling over into that back chamber. So if you put too much in, then you're going to have ink leaking out of that hole. Now, if you have the XL cartridges, obviously, you can put a lot more ink in. Okay, I just put about um, one milliliter, maybe a little bit more. I'll do it again. I'm going to keep going in the video here just because I want you to see it come out the top. Now, I'll top off the magenta and cyan at the same time. Because I know what I'm doing now. I'm just filling up that back chamber. Oh, there you go. That's what I was saying. So you come out the back. Now take the paper napkin and I'm going to draw back on the syringe. Draw out some of that ink. And actually I can go into that other hole and draw back some too. But I'm not. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Okay, that that is definitely full. The same thing with the magenta. The ma magenta just has a larger hole. It doesn't have the two. And the next will be the cyan. Now I've deliberately overfilled every one of them. But then I'm going to put it in a snapping vac. And I'm going to 
pull some of it out anyway. So there, I've actually put, oh, I would say a whole milliliter or more of ink in than the factory did. So now I'm done with that. Now, some people tape over that, but you don't want to do that because we need that air to go in that cartridge there. So I leave it just like that. It's not going to splash all over. Just give it a second for it to, to go into the sponge, you know, fill slowly, and it works perfect. I'm going to empty that back in the bottle. I'm going to just put it back here in my little holder up there like that. This way, the next time I can just take it out and put a little ink in it. Now I want to take it off and blot it down. I put a little bit of head cleaner on that napkin. So I'm going to take it out of the clip. It's going to leak a little bit of ink. So I'll put it down like this. I leave it there for a minute. And I go over here. Now that's coming out really, really good. But I'm still going to put it in the snapping back and draw out a little of that excess of ink that I have in there. A little excess ink that I have in there. Jump through the bottom of the snapping back. It's in the snapping back. And I'm going to pull down. And that's going to draw out a little bit of that ink. Especially when you're running out of ink. That's that little tool right there will save that cartridge. So after you do that, you're going to blot it down on a paper napkin, check the color, and then we can put it in. Snapping back. I just touch it right there and lift up. See that? There's all my colors. And the extra ink that was in there, a little extra, we just cleared it out. Now we'll put it back in the printer. Cartridge, I started to uh, fill it and I had one bar at the bottom. That's a, the best time you really should start to fill. Don't let it go completely empty because then you'll get an error code and then you've got to bring it back. Sometimes you have to use two cartridges to um, get the printer to work. But here, I filled it. This is my copy out. Looks terrible. That's because I overfilled. When you overfill, there's your problem. Everybody thinks, oh, it's out of ink. No, it's just been overfilled. So, I go into my software and I ran a print quality diagnostics. And I see, wow, I'm not getting my magenta. That's the one that was probably over flooded too much. So I ran two cleanings. And there, now I'm back printing perfect. Everything looks good. I did my alignment. That's how I cleared it up. Green, you can't do this from the printer itself. But print quality, alignment, alignment. After you refill a couple times, it's not going to let you align the cartridge. That I can tell you. Alright, so there's a lot of things you can do here. You can also set the quality. Important. I have my quality set for best. I leave it on best all the time. Because when you run on normal, never on draft. When you're on normal, you have a tendency to put less ink into the printhead so it wants to burn out quicker. So I recommend, now that you can refill the cartridge, Run it on best, you'll get better quality. And you should be able to save that if you want. But when you go through the scanner, I don't believe you have choice. It pretty much scans at normal. I just printed out an uh, advertisement piece from the computer and I set it on best. I wanted to show this in the video, you know, when you flood the cartridge and, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, everybody, uh, it takes a little learning to, to learn how to refill this stuff. But if you take your time and you keep doing it, it'll come out. There it is. Look at this. That's perfect. That's a refilled cartridge with American Made Ink. And we've tested these cartridge or cartridges like this for many years, and you can get you can get thousands of copies out of them if you keep a little ink in it. Just when you think about it, go in it, just squirt a few less than a cc of ink in it.
You don't have to snap it back every time. As long as you keep... Same thing with your black. Because, see, we're running down now. Pretty soon, it's going to show that I'm completely out of ink. That's why I try to catch it before it goes out. I'll be taking this out here in a minute. I just want to show you the quality of the color from a refilled cartridge. Now the smartest thing to do is have two cartridges. Say one XL set and one of the set that you got with the printer. And when you're going to do a lot of printing, just swap them out. Keep the one filled. Give it a chance to, to sit for a while. That even makes it better. There you go. There you go. Perfect. So go to inkproducts.com for refill kits that really work.